What if I told you that not everything about this world is quite how it seems? That we've been lied to? That the truth of the universe is out there and we only have to grasp it? Now the truth may not be something you're ready for and if that's the case I understand. If you have to shut off this video before your mind is totally blown and your worldview is shattered, that's okay. But this is your last chance. After this there's no turning back. You take the blue pill, the story ends, you wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. But if you think you're ready to take the red pill, strap in, because in this video I'm going to explain my deep, well-researched theory that Brendan Schaub might actually be the funniest man alive. That needle's not touching this fucking temple, daddy. Think about how such a large part of Schaub's community is based entirely on trolling and harassing him. From the outside, it kind of looks like he sucks and people hate him. But that might not be the whole truth. Walk with me, Christopher. Now we're going to do a thought exercise here, where we imagine that Brendan Schaub is a 200 IQ Mensa Lifetime member slash 33rd degree Freemason. My penis was oscillating. And he knows exactly how to handle every situation, and he's also really funny. Now, th this would be why the CIA sent their very own Agent Callan to act as his handler. Alright, so he starts off as a big-time MMA guy, which wins over Joe Rogan, one of the biggest names in comedy, despite being pretty out of touch with what's actually funny, because he takes it so seriously. Now, Rogan sends waves of people over to Brendan, thinking he's a comedy genius and that he can take the heat of that many fans. In this situation, Schaub has a black belt in 2014 Vine levels of hood irony. Now, irony is something that Joe Rogan can't wrap his mind around because he's rich and only surrounds himself with genuine people, which is why Schaub is able to get through to Joe and gain his support undetected. Next, Schaub starts ironically being unfunny to poke fun at Joe's style of, Oh, God, comedy is the most beautiful craft. The fact that we can tap into that power and just channel the smallest amount of this divine energy and use it to absolutely murder on stage. We're going out there and killing. People in the audience are dying. You just gotta get out there and murder, man. And it's just so, it's amazing that we can, we can do this in such a bleak world where everything is pain and people are hurting, man. I think the sad people, people that are hurting should try psychedelics. Have you ever tried DMT? Here, I've got some right here, have a, have a taste. Now, Schaub taps into this by making boring shows filled with dead air with co-hosts that hate him. And he's doing almost the exact same thing Joe does with less big guests and less budget. Then he starts getting hate online. People make fun of everything about him. Now, at this point, Big Brain Schaub's plan is just starting to work, and everyone is falling into his trap. He starts more shows, and his co-hosts keep leaving. But one stays. Chris D'Elia. Now Schaub cleverly uses D'Elia by keeping him on his shows to make himself look better. Because he knows that D'Elia can't get work anywhere else. Because let's be honest, Brendan looks like a golden hour god next to the child groomer walking soy jack that is D'Elia. Then like I said earlier, Schaub always knows what the next move is. At this point, he has to create an L comedy special where you can hardly tell what he's talking about. IRONICALLY! He's doing this all ironically, remember? That, may, that means it's funny, if he does it ironically. If he was actually putting his heart and soul into this, it would just be sad, right? It's, then it's not funny, but if he says he's doing it ironically, it is. Now this is gonna drive even more hate, and even more buzz. This time, the hate's even coming from big-name stand-ups and podcasters like Tim Dillon, Ice cream and Louis J. Gomez, and pretty much everyone. And now he's ready to get fully into the character of Brandon Schlob. And he's going to continue with this forever, because it keeps making him money, and people are just frothing at the mouth to see what dumb thing he says or does next. His empire has only just begun to take shape. He's won. And the L.A. comedy and podcast scene is in his grasp. Not really, that's probably not true at all. He might just suck. <laughs>